Brute Force password cracking systematically tries different password combinations to find the correct one. Hydra is a powerful open source tool that automates these brute force attacks across various network protocols. It rapidly tests credentials, helping identify weak points for security professionals, but can also be used maliciously. Let's check it out. So let's jump into Cisco Modeling Labs here. I have my SSH password cracking lab, and I'm gonna go ahead and log into the client here. Let's go ahead and begin just by running an APK update. And then let's install Hydra using APK. Now that we have that installed, we can go ahead and test it to make sure that if installed properly, just by running Hydra-H. And we can see it gives us a list of available options. It's kind of like a manual for this particular package. Now there's different ways that you can run Hydra. Uh, the way that we're gonna run it today is using a word list. So it's gonna iterate through a list of words and attempt those usernames or passwords. Just to look at an example of a word list, we're gonna go ahead and run the head command and we have a couple word lists available here. Let's go ahead and just take a look at rockyou.txt. It's a very common, popularly used word list. It's got millions of entries in here, and just to give you an idea of what it looks like on the inside. So the word list that we'll actually use today, just to expedite things, is this one called top password shortlist. And you can see it's fairly short, uh, but that's because we don't want to spend all day running. These types of tools for brute force attacks can take a long time to run. So we have a shortened list here to expedite things. And we have a similar list as well too for top usernames. It's top username shortlist.txt. And just to show you what that looks like here as well too. So we're gonna go ahead and run our Hydra command on this server over here. We're gonna use the top username shortlist as well as the top password shortlist. And it's gonna try to combine those and continuously brute force SSH until some combination of that works. It's gonna open up four different threads to do this to expedite things. And once it finds a successful entry, it's gonna go ahead and quit out of the program and report the results back to us. So you can see here it is running and it looks like it has successfully completed. It did find what appears to be one username password combination on that device that works. You can see it's right there, the login user admin and the password Cisco123. Let's go ahead and see if that actually works by logging into the server with those credentials. And I'm gonna go ahead and use admin and Cisco123, just like it said, and voila, it does indeed work. So you can see it's incredibly easy to do uh, brute force SSH attacks using a tool like Hydra. And you can also find more information on this tutorial and how to do this on u.cisco.com. To defend against brute force tools like Hydra, implement multi-factor authentication and enforce strong, unique passwords. Use account lockout policies and rate limiting to block excessive login attempts. Deploy CAPTCHAs to deter bots and leverage intrusion detection systems to monitor for suspicious patterns, creating a robust defense.